Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here again to share with you guys another drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to switch it up on you guys and show you um, how I draw something that I think I've gotten a little bit famous for drawing, um, and that's hair. Um, after having done a whole book called Hair Love, I feel like people keep coming to me now for instructions on how I typically do that. So um, I'm going to take you through that process. It's actually a pretty easy one. So you guys have made it through um, episodes one and two where you learned how to draw my characters from my books, Little Leaders and Little Dreamers. Um, so here you go. You guys already know how to draw these guys. So we'll move on and we'll do a tutorial on how to draw hair. This is a little bit deceiving. I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to just be working in um, black and white today um, and I'm going to color with a Conte crayon. So this is an art artist tool that I learned how to use in college um, and it's very similar to your regular kind of Crayola crayons. Um, it doesn't smudge too much so it's not exactly like charcoal but it's not as waxy as crayon. Um, but it's really like a fun tool to work with and um, it's one that often artists will do a lot of their sketches in. So you guys can work with whatever tools you like. You can follow along with a regular pencil and um, I also have a brush pen. Um, it's really up to you. So let's get started. Um, so when you get a new um, Conte crayon package, and you open it up and your crayon comes out this size. I actually break it in half and work on um, with it at half size um, just because it's a little bit easier to manipulate and it'll get the, the textures that I want. So I'm going to just create a random character um, and I'm just going to be working on a face. So we all know how to draw my little leader and legend character but so you guys are welcome to um, use that face shape. Um, I'm just gonna create like a little girl. Okay, so I have my character, um, have the face exactly how I want it, pretty much, and now I'm going to kind of outline the hairstyle I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to give her a middle part, um, and maybe kind of like low puffs along the side, so, um, you can do this sort of like the way we typically draw, like with the way we learn how to draw trees or clouds when we're little kids. See, that's kind of looking like hair already, right? Okay, so I have my outline. The way I'm gonna start adding some texture here, um, I do it in three steps. So let me bring back my my scrap paper to show you my steps. So step number one is um, a pretty sophisticated technique I had to learn a long time ago. So pay very close attention to this part. It scribbles. I'm pretty sure all of you guys can do this. I think I learn this way back in kindergarten. I think you guys can follow along. Okay, so once you've mastered step number one, um, step number two, if you've watched episodes one and two, um, you know that a lot of drawing is, is breaking down complicated things into simple shapes. So step number two is our old friend, the letter C. In episode one, we learned how to draw the the facial features of the characters from my books using the letter C. 
So I'm going to use that with the hair as well. And I'm just going to do it forwards and backwards and upside down and on the side. Um, and step number three kind of looks like the number three. It's curly cues. You could do it forward or backward, make it look like E's or threes. And you really just need one or two of these, a few of them um, to break out, break up your different shapes. Um, and it'll really start to look like hair. So I'm gonna bring all of my steps together in my sketch and you'll start to see how it comes together. So I'm gonna kind of leave that there for you guys to see. Um, you want to keep an eye on that. Okay. Um, and just to reiterate, I'm using a Conte crayon to color. Um, I've done this exact same demo with regular crayons before um, and with ink and pencils, everything. So you can really do it with anything. But I like crayons and Conte crayons because I can get this, I can get the sides to be very soft um, and kind of sharp on the corners to get all of these different textures. So I'm gonna fill in my shape here with my scribbles. And you see it's kind of coming out grainy instead of sharp. I'm not pressing very hard. Look, it's starting to already look like hair. I can use the whole thing if I like, if I want to work faster or if I want to fill up a lot of space all in one go. Um, I don't want to cover up her face with the hair, so I'm going to keep working this more slower pace. So I'm just using that kind of scribble shape. Um, I can go back in and go harder with my scribbles. And you can see it's starting to look like there's lots of hair there. The reason I start off pretty light is because um, the slower you go with this and the more kind of um, thoughtfully we can build up the lights and the darks, it'll really start to um, look rendered and kind of more detailed. Um, so I'm gonna go in with some of my C's and just kind of carve out some shapes here. So I'm now really thinking kind of sculptur sculpturally. So to me, this isn't just like a flat cloud of, of, of black stuff I've drawn. Now it's like hair. And so I'm thinking about, well, which curls, which textures are coming out closer, which ones are farther away. Um, so wherever there's shadow, wherever something might be farther away, like this hair, this a whole section here is kind of below her chin and behind her. So I'm going to treat it darker. So I'm going to press harder on my crayon. And so it starts to make it look like she's um, kind of in dimension and sh her face is in front of these dark parts. And the same for this side, it looks like this black hair is below her ear and kind of behind her, her cheek. So I'm using my C's to kind of carve out some, some lines here. And look, I already, like my hand did it but without even thinking about it. I added in some of my curly cues. You just need a few of these to kind of break up this whole shape to make it look like there are a thousand here, hairs here instead of like five scribble lines. Some big C's. Um, and then if you want to draw your baby hairs, you can use your C's here, kind of very lightly.
And when we talk about like hair textures, particularly um, black hair, I really like to use these kind of more textured um, tools to achieve um, different hair textures to make it look um, less straight and a little bit more coily. You know, you can have less of a defined curl pattern and you can go um, a little bit more loose like this um, to get those different textures. It's really up to you. I often do it like this so you guys can see the exact techniques that I'm putting into it. So I think my drawing is done, but before I go, I want to kind of just break it down one more time how I'm getting that kind of curly texture technique. So if I had one um, kind of lock of hair that was quite curly like this, I would use my C's to get these shapes. That's what I'm thinking about with the C's. Hopefully this will help illustrate um, exactly what I'm thinking about. Um, and then with my light and shadow, I'm thinking about how there's light hitting each of these um, curls. So if I'm thinking about it three-dimensionally, these parts are probably gonna have more light coming at it, and these ones, because they're farther away, um, are gonna be in shadow. So I'm gonna put some more dark here. And down at the last bit, that's where the kind of really curly cues come from, right? Um, and so if I wanted it to look shiny, all I would do is just make sure I'm leaving some white right here where the light is hitting it. So in my mind, there's a light source, so maybe the sun or a light bulb, and it's coming at these guys. Um, and it's gonna be really bright at that point that's kind of farther out, essentially closer to the light source. So I think about this kind of lock of hair that might be here within this entire mix. Um, I could really go in and detail those and pull some out, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it because to me, I think that this character doesn't have um, such defined curls. I think, they're, um, I think they're a little bit more coily than that. So, um, but that's just to kind of break down what I'm thinking about um, in the middle of doing a drawing. So I'm kind of thinking about it sculpturally. In my head, this is a three-dimensional object and I'm thinking about where the light is going and where the shadows are going. And so I bring that into my entire drawing there. So um, I know that that's a little bit more advanced, but I, I am very confident in you guys. I'm very confident in lots of people's drawing techniques. Everyone thinks that drawing is like super hard and super complicated, but I promise it's, it's way simpler than it seems you really just have to try it and put in the time and put in the practice and you'll get better at it so um, tag me in your drawings I want to see um, your characters I want to see the hairstyles you're doing um, you know if you want some inspiration definitely check out like drawing to or kind of braiding tutorials or different things on the web I'm constantly looking at different hairstyles um, and looking at my friends' Instagrams and their posts. So um, if you feel comfortable, you can try out a different style or you can copy the one that I did. So good luck on your drawing and I will see you in the next demo. Okay, bye.